Kamusta? Ready ka na ba para sa lesson natin ngayong week? Welcome to our math class. Before we start, here are some reminders. I-ready ang iyong ball pen, answer sheet, at ang iyong module. Basahin at tunawain maigi ang instructions sa bawat learning task. Iwasang magusot, madumihan, mapunit, at higit sa lahat ang mawala ang iyong module. Magpagabay lamang kay Lamami, Daddy, Ate, Kuya, o kung sino mang nakatatanda sa iyo. Ikaw pa rin dapat ang sasagot sa bawat learning task. Huwag kalimutang isulat ang pangalan at section sa iyong answer sheets. Pwedeng ipos ang video para mas mabasa o maunawaan mo ang instructions. Kung may tanong, gaya nga ng sabi ng Lola Nicardo, huwag mahihiyang magtanong. Para sa third part ng ating lesson, magagamit natin ang tutunan mo sa LCM. Ang lesson natin ay Visualizing Addition and Subtraction of Similar and Dissimilar Fraction and Subtraction from Whole Number. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to Visualize Addition and Subtraction of Similar and Dissimilar Fraction and Subtraction from Whole Number. Addition of Similar Fraction Example, 3 fifths plus 1 fifth. Since parehas lang ang kanilang denominator, i-add lang natin yung numerator. 3 plus 1 is 4. Then, kokopihin lang natin yung denominator. So, 3 fifths plus 1 fifth is 4 fifths. Subtraction of similar fraction. Example, 6 eighths minus 4 eighths. Parehas lang ng process natin kanina, since similar fractions din sila. Imamayas lang natin ang numerator, then kukopihin lang natin ang denominator. Para mas maintindihan, tignan nitong illustration. Meron daw tayong 6 eighths, then binawasan natin ng 4 eighths. So, meron tayong natirang 2 eighths. Subtraction of fraction from whole number. Let us look at this. May divided the whole pizza into 8 equal parts. She ate 3 eighths of the pizza. Ilan kaya yung natira? Para mas maintindihan natin, tignan natin itong illustration na ito. Yung isang buong pizza raw ay hinati into 8 equal parts. So, yung 1 magiging equal to 8 eighths. Then, binawasan daw ni May ng 3. Kaya, 8 eighths minus 3 eighths. Since, similar fraction na siya, imamayos lang natin ang numerator. Then, we will copy the denominator. So, 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Then, copy the denominator, kaya magiging sagot natin ay 5 eighths. So, 1 minus 3. 3 eighths is equal to 5 eighths. Subtraction of the similar fraction. Dito natin magagamit ang natutunan natin sa LCM. 5 6 minus 1 third. Una, hahanapin mo natin yung LCM nila. Ang LCM ng 6 and 3. LCM nila ay 6. Sa fraction, ang tawag dito ay LCD or least common denominator. Then, i-divide lang natin ang LCD sa denominator at i-multiply sa numerator. Ang LCD na rin ang magiging bagong denominator. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1. Then, multiply natin sa numerator, kaya ang sagot natin ay 5 sixths. Then, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then, i-multiply natin sa numerator. 2 times 1 is 2, so magiging 2, 6. 
then pwede na natin i-subtract. 5 sixths minus 2 sixths. Since similar fraction sila, kaya isasubtract lang natin yung numerator, then copy the denominator. 5 minus 2 is 3. So, ang sagot natin ay 3 sixths. Pag nilowest term natin siya, ang magiging sagot natin ay 1 half. Addition of dissimilar fraction. Same lang din to sa process ng subtraction ng dissimilar fractions. 4 6 plus 3 twelfths. Ang LCD ng 6 ay 2 at 12 ay 12. I-divide lang ulit natin ang LCD sa denominator tapos i-multiply sa numerator. Ang magiging bagong denominator natin ay 12. So, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Tapos, multiply natin sa 4, kaya ang magiging sagot ay 8. 8 twelfths. Then, 12 divided by 12 is 1. Multiplied by 3 is 3, kaya ang magiging sagot ay 3 twelfths. Then, add lang ulit natin yung numerator, then copy the denominator. 8 plus 3 is 11. Then, copy the denominator, kaya ang magiging sagot natin ay 11 twelfths. Learning task 1 sa page 26. Write the fraction of each shaded part, then find the sum. Learning task 2 sa page 26. Find the sum and difference. Express the answer in the lowest term. Learning task 3 sa page 26. Find the sum and difference. Express the answer in the lowest term. Learning task 4 sa pages 26 to 27. Find the sum and difference. Express your answer in the lowest term. Final learning task sa page 27. Find the sum and difference. Express the answer in its lowest term. Sana ay naunawaan mo ang lessons natin. See you next week!